Vandersloot looks at the clock, daring them to foul her. That's a dangerous pass. Hamby. What it do, baby? It's your boy 504 back again, man. We had a huge day yesterday, special day. You heard the sound by Dierica Hamby. The same day she is announced sixth woman of the year, she comes through with the biggest shot of her life. Maybe one of the most iconic shots, maybe in WNBA history. Maybe the shot of the year, not just the WNBA and all sports. The when you put it together, the pressure, what's on the line, the situation, just how it came about. It was a culmination of this season. Um, things have just been Ace has been catching some breaks, and uh, they caught the biggest one there. And one of the biggest, no, 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 yes, shots I could remember in recent memory. Just a truly iconic moment, and I couldn't be happier for Hamby, the fans. Just it was an all-around fun game, man. And, and I, anybody who watched it was into a treat all back and forth the entire game. Just a hell of a game. And here we got some uh, post-game with Dierica Hamby. Here's what she had to say about her shot of a lifetime. immediately after you saw that chat go down i just want to say god was on my side because i didn't even realize that there was that we had so much time on the clock and had i missed that shot like i would have never been able to live with it but i don't know what i did to deserve that but yeah, i'm just so glad we won girl if you don't stop it you've been going off all season what did you do to deserve it this is putting in work that's what you did put in that work and for a team where Liz and Asia get all of the headlines, rightfully so. You know, they're amazing players. But Hamby's been there all season. For anyone that's followed the Aces, she this is not new. No one's surprised. She's been balling. Ever since, you know, she had a breakout game earlier in the year against the Dallas Wings where she put a career high up. And ever since that game, she's never looked back. It's been a season for the ages for her, a special season. And – She's a bigger reason as any as why the Aces are in the playoffs from when she stepped up when Asia Wilson went down for eight games, when um, coming off the bench, just filling, and then when they do their three big lineup with her, Liz, and Asia all on the floor at the same time, just the matchup problem she's bringing. She's been an incredible for us all year. This is not new. This is just a accumulation of work and, you know, a little luck, but, you know, I never really truly believed in luck. I think pre- – you know, preparation prepares you for moments like this, and luck comes to those that are uh, deserve it. And she did deserve it. It's been a heck of a season. Aces, and now as a whole, just had one of the best games I could remember watching in a long time. Back and forth, the sky made it so hard for them. Um, coming out the gates early with a lot of energy, making a lot of three point shots. Deanna De Shields is a baller. Her athleticism was giving the Aces a lot of trouble getting to the line, getting out in transition, and they were down by as many as 14 points. So the Aces really had to come back and rally together as a team because the Sky did a great job of taking away what the Aces like to do on the inside with Liz and Asia, really um, making it tough to make entry passes for the post and sagging off of the guards and really forcing them to, daring them actually to make shots. And... It was an adjustment at first because I don't think people, the Aces were used to teams guarding them like that. But this is the playoffs. And they showed a nice resolve as a team rallying together. And even then, uh, they were up five, had a chance to close it out. The Sky came fighting back, took that two-point lead. And, you know, with 
Courtney Vandersloot made an error that I, you know, I feel for her because she's a tremendous player that she's probably going to reset. Re, she's going to remember this one for a long time. That's a stinging loss. But it is what it is. The Aces move on after a tremendous game. Kelsey Plum did her did her thing last night. It was a really sound team effort for the Aces and making sure that they stay together. after Because the Stars really, Liz and Asia did not have the greatest of games, if we're being honest, because, you know, we hold them to high standards, and as we should there, superstars. You know, 8-19 for Liz, 23 points. Uh, she looked frustrated, but she did have 17 rebounds. So, you know, always contributing because of the, her size and the impact. She has six blocks. Good gracious. Doing it all on the defensive end, being a force in the paint. Asia a little quiet on her end, 4 of 10, 11 points. She didn't really, she didn't take a shot in the fourth quarter. Her first ever playoff game. So, you know, I think this is an experience that she will learn from, get better from. And they're going to need more from her when they go to the number one seed in Mystics. Because, uh, yeah, they're going to need Asia to do, have a lot better game. If they're going to have a chance of stealing the series against the Mystics. Game one of that get series is tomorrow. But, you know, let's focus to a little bit on what happened against the Sky. Because, man, that game was exhausting, exhilarating, nerve-wracking, down to the wire. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. And I think it shows exactly what the WNBA is all about and why it's the best brand of basketball out there. And I want to give a big shout out to the crowd. You know, yesterday the house was filled up as it should be. The loud, rocking, and they really made their presence felt and had that energy that the players could feed off. Great energy in the building. The support that the Aces, that the fans have shown the Aces has been uh, outstanding and well deserved because <coughs> has been outstanding and well deserved because you know they've been grinding all year. They've been putting in work. They've been putting on a show, entertaining, and to see it actually, to see all the support really made me feel proud of uh, being in this city and being from here and living here because. Uh, the Aces, there's not a team I don't think that deserves it more. And uh, they needed it. They needed every ounce of it last night because the Sky did not go away. The Sky were, they were fighting. They were, came in and they tried to steal one at home. And they had a lot of people step up that you wouldn't think. Courtney Vandersloot, the Aces did a good job on her containing her to 3 of 10 shooting. Of course, you know, she did a great job of getting everybody else involved. Sands, the big turnover at the end. But overall, she played well. Allie Quigley. They did a good job of containing their shooters of her, 2 of 11, 0 of 6 from the 3, not letting her get going because, you know, if she gets hot, she can beat you in a second. De Diamond the Shields, Diamond the Shields, you know, did her thing. She's athletic, an athletic forward, um, probably the most athletic player in the league if we're being honest here. 23 points for her, but, you know, not the most efficient, 7 of 20, but she hit 3 of 8 from the 3, 3 of 8 from the 3, was able to get to the line, uh, caused a lot of trouble with her athleticism getting out in the open court. Uh... A student the door, you know, a uh, you know more of a complimentary piece for the sky, but she stepped up big last night, seventeen points, seven of ten, giving them a different look. And uh, Kalea Cooper, Kalea Copper, sorry, excuse me, sixteen points, six of eight from the field, two, three or four from the three, giving them a huge minutes off the bench, hitting big shots, forcing the Aces to uh, adapt, and they the. The complimentary pieces for the Sky did a good job of punishing the Aces because the Aces were keying in on, you know, the Skies, on Vandersloot, Quigley, the Shields. The complimentary pieces did a really good job of and being efficient in hitting their open shots, and, and that's really what kept the Sky there all game. You know, they came out busting in the first quarter, built up an eight-point lead, turned that to a 14-point lead in the second before the Aces made on a run, you know, made it, chopped it, made it a close game at the halftime. Aces came through with a big third quarter. That was ultimately the difference. And then the fourth quarter, you know, just came down to that final shot that Hamby hit. And uh, a shot that will go down in one of the top WNBA moments maybe ever. An iconic shot. A lot, definitely in Las Vegas sports history. Las Vegas hoops history. Um, Man, there were so many big shots in that game. 
just look. All you can do, just go look at James Harden's face, and you'll be able to see uh, Kelsey Plum with a one-legged three-pointer from the to close out the third quarter. That like those are two big shots. Those are two tough shots that really made the difference in today's game. If you don't have those shots, you know. Uh, it's a different outcome, and we're not talking about this. We're talking a little bit more somber and maybe focusing on the offseason. But the Aces, as they did all year, showed their resolve. They battled. They never lost their belief in themselves that they can win this game. And they're moving on to face a very good Mystics team that is on a mission with 50-40-90, Elena Deladon, who I think you know is the best player in the WNBA. Mystics got the best of them in the regular season as well, winning the series 2-1, two, to one, two blowout losses, including that one game where they had the earthquake and it had to be postponed. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a good series, a lot of star power, but the Aces are going to have to play better than they did tonight, for sure. You know, they're going to need more efficiency from their stars. Their three all-stars really shot poorly from the field, combined a 16 of 39 which is, you know, sub 40%, which that's not going to get the job done, especially against a team as efficient as the Mystics are. But some positives for them, you know, Kelsey Plum came out firing. She finished again with 15 points off the bench. She started the second half, so we'll be it's interesting to see, you know, how they'll play into it. Jackie Young started the game, but she only played four minutes. Didn't really post, you know, she's a young rookie, so... Not nothing to be surprised there in these moments. Uh, Bill Lambeer electing to go with more experienced team. Understandable, given the circumstances, you know. But, man, that was a hell of a game. And the Aces got to feel fortunate that they moved on. But, you know, they moved on. So they could, that, that gives them a chance of confidence moving into their game against the Mystics, some chance to clean things up because uh, the Mystics are – Going, that's going to be a tough, tough series. And they're my favorite to win the championship. So, you know, the Aces are going to have to be on top of their game. They're going to have to play the best ball they played all season and come together and figure out some of the things that they were hindering them in this game against the Sky. But ultimately, what's been getting the Aces through all year is their defense, number one defensive team in the league. And that's going to have to be their calling card, get out of stops, get out and run. And, you know, the chips fall where they may. But it's it's clearly... After that game, man, they were building something special was brewing over here, and uh, something's got it. Something you know. Sometimes I believe in destiny. <laughs> I believe in destiny, and when you get something like a shot like that against Hamby, the t- considering the circumstances, because it was really not a good shot. The, she had a, a wide open teammate under the basket, easy bucket, tied up. With like five, six seconds left, she thought she, you know, obviously she didn't, she just thought that that time was running out. She let it grow and it went in. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But like I said, I don't believe in luck. I believe in destiny. And uh, we'll see if this is in the cards for the Aces. But regardless, then they put a show on for the home fans tonight. And then now they get the series. And this is a great experience for this team, regardless, because being in a, Having a series now rather than the one-game playoffs, you're going to really get to see what you're made of, test your resolve, and gain valuable playoff experience that you can carry on not on, for next year. So I think this 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 win is going is huge for the long-term outlook for the Aces. Way it's way bigger than just one game and one season. This type of thing, these type of games, build character and build a foundation for your team. What the Aces are doing right now is building a culture. And game playoff games, tough games like that, where the stakes are so high and you still find a way to win despite maybe not playing the best you have. And the in the sky played wonderful. The sky and I don't even want to say that, you know, that the Aces it wasn't necessarily anything that had to do with them. No one was really coming up short or small. The sky just had a really good game plan. They executed well. They're a very good team. Maybe better than their five seed even would indicate. And they played like it. They came in here to win and the Aces found a way to hold them off and get the job done, move on. Huge, huge, huge building block for success. You know, we shouted out Erica Hamby for her tremendous play. 
But you know, it was a it was really a total team effort. It was a total team effort. You know, she Hamby was obviously he was the hero with the miraculous shot, but there was a number of key contributors all game. Kelsey Plum had a one legged foot away. And you should have seen the look on James Harden's face. Uh, he looked impressed. And I saw, I said this, you know, because Kelsey had that huge game against the, the Sparks that is a big reason that the Aces have home court right now. And I said, you know, I think maybe if this can be the game that gets her going, this could take the Aces to another level. And she, she continued her great play tonight. Did not look like she was comfortable. She did not, she was not scared of the moment was inviting the defense to sag off on her when they keyed in on Liz in Asia. She took her chances, and she shot the ball very well. 6 of 13, had a number of nice layups. 3 of 5 from the 3, which is, you know, that's that's always huge when you can shoot at that efficiently. 6 assists, uh, did a great job of running the team, keeping the, the girls rallied, keeping their focused. Just a great job of leading the team, and, you know, she got her 33 minutes tonight. And even though she didn't start, there's a chance you could see her starting in the next couple games against the Mystics because she started the second half and looks like she may have played her way back in the lineup. I know Bill Lambeer expects a lot from her. And it's because, you know, she's capable of doing having games like this. And in these big moments, she seems to always rise up and uh, attack the moment. And that's a great, great quality to have. And I'll keep you in the league for a long time. Some other contributors, like I said, you know, Liz, I got anytime you can get 17 rebounds, that's a huge, huge boost. Six offensive. She usually does most of her work on the offensive glass, too. You know, we're not, we're not, it is not new to see her dominate in the paint. And that's why, you know, when it comes to her, her shooting percentages, even if they're not high, she's always going to have an impact because of just how dominant she is and how much of a force she is down low in the paint because of her size. Six block shots. That just automatically speaks to the deterrent you're doing at the rim. You're challenging shots at the rim, making it tough for the defenders to drive and attack the paint, forcing them to shoot from the outside and clogging up past lanes with her length. You know, just like it was all around great game from Liz, even though she wasn't as efficient as you'd like offensively. She still found other ways to contribute. I'd like that she was see her, you know, when the defense sags off, you know, maybe instead of forcing up a, a really tough shot inside the paint, maybe step out and set your feet and let it fly from beyond the arc just so they have to respect you there and have to guard you out there. She did a good job of hitting her free throw. She struggled with that at times this year, 6-7. Kayla McBride, uh, 16 points for her, 4-10, 1-5 from the three. She wasn't Her touch wasn't all the way there, but she was able to still make, be efficient by getting to the free throw line, 7-8 of eight attempts at the line, just finding other ways to be effective on the floor. Things that the Aces have done all season, mainly making a calling card their defense, getting out in the transition, running after misses, and drawing fouls. They draw, averaged 22 free throws in the regular season, which is tops, had 29 against the Sky. So, you know, that's what it is. The Aces are always going to get a lot of attempts because they're a physical team. They play inside out. And when you attack the rim, you know, you're usually going to get the benefit of the on calls more times than not. So... A great team effort. A lot of things to clean up, for sure. 18 turnovers. Problems have plagued the team all year. Turning the ball over. Liz and Asia with four apiece. Kayla with four. They did a lot of trying to feed them when it wasn't there. A lot of bad entry passes to the post that maybe, you know, they just weren't there at the time. Forcing it. Maybe swing it, swing it. Then go find the post. Um, but... You can't be mad at a win. Now, actually, we're gonna let's look forward ahead. You know, tomorrow, the Vegas will tra will travel over to Washington to face the Mystics. That is on September seventeenth. Vegas will be playing the Mystics, number one seed, MVP Elena Deladon, special special player. That's gonna be a challenge. She's been given the she gave the Aces fits all season. All season, they had trouble containing her. I don't know who they're going to have to put on her. My guess is they'll probably try to do some combination of Tamara Young, McBride maybe. But, you know, just her size and her ability to 
put the ball on the floor and handle, get others involved. And she's going to be a tough cover. She led her team in 19.5 points per game. You all, you know, it's not just Atlanta Della Don that you have to worry about. The Mystics are a great team. They play as a team. They play together. Christy Tolliver does a great job of keeping that team in order, a great job of leading that team, running the floor. Just a number of great players on there that the Aces are going to have to account for, and they're going to have to be together to, to beat them. Like The regular season matchup with them didn't go too well. Lost... Lost the season series two to one. Stole a game in Washington, but I, I believe that Atlanta did not play that game. The two games that Atlanta did play, the Aces didn't came up on the losing side of it in blowout fashion. One was an earthquake game though, so it's hard to really get a read on this matchup. To be honest with you, because they haven't played. The one time we saw it way earlier in the year, this is the Mystics came into the house and blew them out. Both teams went on the road. All the games went on run the road. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic to follow this year in this series. Should be a really fun series, though. A lot of talent on the floor. Christy Tolliver, Elena Deladon, Emma Messerman. Like they just have so many people, players that can beat you. Natasha Cloud is a very good role player. Latoya Sanders gets good minutes off the bench, you know. That's why I'm sorry. Gives good minutes. He's a starter. I don't know. Emma Masterman gives you great minutes off the bench, though. She was another can- candidate right there with, like, a Hamby. Comes in, gets you some buckets. And 23 minutes per game, averaging 13 points. Impressive stuff right there. Um, Ariel Powers can get you a double digit. It's a lot of double digit scorers on here that can give you a lot of trouble if you don't play good team defense. You're not engaged, and I think the calling card for the Aces to beat this team is not going to be to outscore them. It's going to be to, to try to, to slow down this high-powered Washington Mystics attack, where they have shooters that can. They have creators, efficient shoot, efficient scoring, good size, well coached, play together as a team. They're the number one team in, in the WNBA for a reason, so. The Aces got a tall task ahead of them. They have the talent to do it. I I would say the Aces have the talent to beat anybody. And they're coming off a lot of momentum with the shot of the year. It can go one way. They, you know, they can. And I think given the resolve of this team, they're not going to be satisfied with what just like with the win. They're going to know that they had room to improve. That they almost, they almost season almost ended. And. Uh, We'll see how they bounce back, but the Aces have the talent and the star power to go beat anybody. Liz and Asia, this is the playoffs. This is where superstars and players of their caliber rise and really take their game to another level. And we will see. We will see. It's going to be a fun series. A lot of expectations to go around. Um, I don't want them to go. I'm going to go out and make a prediction right now. I think I think in the, I'm gonna go with the Aces, man. I'm I'm, I'm gonna play home. I'm gonna, play, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with my gut. It's starting to feel to me like this is a team, you know, of destiny. And I don't want to sound corny when I say that, but a lot of things are going right with this team. That that shot against Hamby, there's a lot of energy, positive energy. I think you know Liz and and, and Asia are just going to. Be too much to handle for the Mystics in the playoffs, and I think they'll find a way to slow Elena down. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the Aces in this series, man. I'm gonna go with the Aces. Ah, uh, let me a game prediction. Mm. Aces in five. Aces in five. I'm thinking. I think it goes a distance. I just close it out, go into Washington, and beat them. They do a lot of things. And this is not, you know, this is not just me picking because I'm the home team, you know. I got my reasons. Yeah. And my big reasons. Here we go. Defense. Ace is number one defense team in the WNBA. And I think when you're in the playoffs, defense is really going to make the difference. And when you can go up and you can guard other people and you can limit teams and make things hard for them, shots, I don't think, I think, 
foul calls are different. It's a different game. But usually the better defensive team comes out on top in the playoffs. There we go. Free throw shooting. Aces get to the line a lot. They play in the post. So I think, you know, in the playoffs, that, that type of game translates better. It's more physical. You're going to be inside more. You're drawing more fouls. You're going to be in the bonus. You have the talent. You know, jump shots fade when the defense is a little, defense is a little bit tighter in the playoffs. It's harder to get clean looks and jump shots. I think that's going to come into play. Um when you have two dominant force paint forces, I think, you know, that's going to that wears you out over a series. It's not just one game. Having to guard Liz and Asia over a, a series span is going to be tough. It's draining on the defenders. And you know, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I that's my reasons. And I think just the Aces are a little bit better equipped for, to deal with the playoffs. And we'll see. Game one tomorrow. September 17th, we going, it's going to be a great game, ESPN2, so make sure y'all check that out. Then, you know, we got the 19th, we got, we got Washington, then it's back in Las Vegas on the 22nd. We'll see where the series is at, if we need to go further than that. But I will be giving away tickets to the playoff game against the Mystics. September 22nd, 2019, Ace in the Hole, hit me up on Twitter, LaRocca504, retweet, let me know what you think about the pod, with about the about the episode, what you want, what you guys want to hear, talk to me, what was your favorite, what do you disagree with, do you agree with me on my predictions, what, did you see the same things I saw, and uh, we'll be doing ticket giveaways for anyone who retweets the show and makes a comment on what they liked or disliked. That's been today's episode of Ace in the Hole. I thank you guys for rocking with me, man. It has been a wild, wild, wild couple of hours for us Aces fans, WNBA fans. It's playoff time, though. Best time of the year. Let's enjoy it. Talk to y'all later. Peace. Yeah.